Not normal at all. I mean, I've been here for four years and I, I, I've never experienced that. Some costumes in the stands at a high school basketball game in City View on Friday have many questions in the administration at Bowie Independent School District and their view on racism and discrimination. At first, all I saw was the bananas and I thought, well, maybe they're doing fruit. But as the game went on and then I noticed that they had what I perceived as watermelons, but they're, they're, they were saying was pickles. I went over to the superintendent. City View ISD Superintendent Tony Bouchong said he shared his concern with Bowie Superintendent Blake Enlow, who then told him the students have worn these costumes to other basketball games in the past. And I said, well, listen, I, I said, I'm just, I'm just telling you that it, 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 it's very upsetting and it's upset a lot of people and and it upset me and my wife who were at the game because we knew what it was going to do. We knew what was going to happen. What it did was send parents to social media demanding an apology from Bowie school leaders and a change. Though there is no evidence to substantiate this claim, some are also saying students were making monkey sounds at the City View athletes. In one social media post, Amarion Bradford says in part, they feel the actions of their students are justified because they wear them at all games. Even if they have, it does not mean it is appropriate to do so. Bushong says this was unfortunate and bad decisions were made on Bowie's part. In a statement, Bowie ISD Superintendent Blake Enlow says, quote, Bowie ISD condemns racism and discrimination of any kind in the strongest terms possible, and we take allegations of this nature very seriously. It continues, the district is conducting a thorough investigation and will take any appropriate actions to ensure that other teams feel safe when competing against our district. I have talked to the other superintendents in our district that we play, and all of them agreed that this was inappropriate, and so we're not going to see it anywhere else, and, and our kids will be safe. Bushong says he's proud of his students for not responding to the incident, and he's very sorry to both parents and students who were there. He says he will make sure...